guys, Cindy out of here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing? Um, we are looking at week two for my creative year. Last week, you got to see me make my beautiful mascot. I just love her. She is so, so cool. So um, I've decided her name is Artsy Agnes. And I absolutely love her. Isn't she cute? Oh, I had a blast making her. So Artsy Agnes hangs out with me when I do my creative year. She's hanging out right here on my desk. Okay, this is the journal that I talked to you about. It's a recipe booklet. Um, this is just a folder. We're going to go through that a little bit later. And as you guys know by now, this week's prompt is use it or lose it. Now, um, I'm just going to set my book aside here, and I took out a piece of paper. But the first thing I want to do, uh, this is... I did this back in December and what I did is I wanted to see how well the scrapbook paper was going to take the paints and stuff. Now what I did to all the scrapbook paper that I have in my My Creative Year binder is this side has a clear gesso on it so I can put whatever I need to on the paper and this side is just plain. All right, So there's no gesso on it, no nothing. But the first thing I'm going to do, I want to um, make this, this is going to be my main page for this year, um, just my beginning page. And I have these uh, stamps here. You guys have seen me use them before. I found them in um, Tuesday morning. And this is just some stays on ink. And I just want to put my, and then I'm going to do creative year. Here's creative. I love these stamps because you just hook them all together and bingo, you've got a word and you can make whatever word you want. So my creative, and I'm just gonna stick it back in here, oops. My box is a little bit too big so I have to put like these tissues here because if I don't, they all fall down. All right, and year. Doesn't have to be on the line. It's not on the line, which I don't care. Just want to put these back in here. And then I've got these little rubber stamps that um, my husband uses all the time. And I swiped them. So where's my two? I want to do 2018. Two. Uh, da, 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 zero. Two, zero, one, eight. If I can do these together, let's try it. Think I can do it? No, we're going to do them one at a time. Just because I know me. One, eight. All right. So there's those. So we've got my creative year 2018. Now, um, like I said, this page is, I was just testing out to see, um, you know, what, what the inks would do, what the, um, you know, the paints. Um, I did a little bit of collage on here. I just wanted to see. Here's my creative year. 2018. I'm really excited about this year. Um, I told you guys I'm going to focus on the chronic pain. And yes, I'm key, I'm doing art with that, but you know, I really feel that there are so many people out there that live in chronic pain daily and you know, some people just don't like to talk about it, you know, and that's okay. And if you don't want to hear that, that's fine. I do have other videos on my um, YouTube channel that has nothing to do with chronic pain. Um, but for my focus for this year, for my creative year, that's what I am going to focus on because I think it needs to be talked about. And I think there are things that need to be brought out, brought to light that other people um, just don't talk about. So here's this little guy. So it's just my creative year. I'm going to put this back in the book. Um, actually, no I'm not. Before I do that, I'm going to write a little bit about what I want my objective to be for this year. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Um, you guys don't have to sit here and read it and watch me write. Um, I'll flip it and show it to you when I get done. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'll just read you what I wrote. It says, this year I want to talk about chronic pain. All the emotions, feelings, and obstacles that come with it. I want to be... I want to be... 
<laughs> an area of support, I can barely read my writing, um, support and awareness so that I may be able to help other people. Chronic pain can be physical as well as mental. There are millions of people affected by this awful disease. And, you know, again, it doesn't have to be just physical pain. It can be physical and mental. So there's my opening page. I love it. I think she's cool. So we're going to put it right in here. Like I said, I've never done journaling in a binder, and I'm just kind of excited to see how it goes. So um, we're going to talk about this month's, or this week's, I'm sorry, topic, which, or, ugh, prompt. The topic is budget-friendly. The prompt is use it or lose it. Now, again, I said I was going to focus on chronic pain, so here's what I'm going to do. I have some, these are all out of magazines, okay? So I don't um, go out and try to find specifically things for chronic pain. I always just keep my eyes out, and anytime I see a, a saying or something that I think might go well with chronic pain, I just um, tear it out and put it in here. Like, I mean, look at this snippy goofball cranky dramatic spacey i thought those were cool sleepy loopy um anything like this this is where um i've cut out so many different words and stuff that belong in the chronic pain so i'm going to use this because i don't want to have to a buy something else budget wise and b i don't want to say well i'm never going to do anything with that and chuck it out so that's just a loss so let me get some paints we're going to start putting a, um this page together and we're going to talk about chronic pain in the use it or lose it form so i'll be back in just a minute all right so today i've got out some dina wakely paints um sky lime and lemon and like i said we're going to play and just see how how this does you know, I, like I said, I haven't worked on a binder style uh, journal. Um, and I just want to play. Look at all that paint. Play, play, play! It's so funny because for the last um, three months, I've kind of taken like a little hiatus from YouTube. And I've only had one person notice it. <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny, but hey, it's all good. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I got sponges out. I don't want to almost use sponges, so I'm going to start out with a darker color. So we're going to start with the blue. Let me put this up on here so I can... The blue, I'll probably end up getting it all over the back, but that's all right. No, we're not going to do that. You know what I need? Hold on. I need just a small. I want to throw a piece of wax paper under this. Because then I can use the wax paper later. Perfect. So, talking about chronic pain and using it or losing it. Hmm. Do you know what that means? <laughs> um, in the chronic pain, and I'm just, everything that I say to you in these videos, this is from my experience. Okay? This is not from the doctors. I am not a therapist. I am not um, a professional in any way, shape, or form. Um, I'm telling you from my experience what happens to me and how I deal with it. So I'm hoping that it will give you a little bit of an idea if you're having some of the same issues on how to deal with it or how to try to help yourself to make it a little bit easier on yourself. So that's where I'm coming from. Um, on the use it or lose it, one of the things that I have noticed um, with the chronic pain, um, as many of you know, I have a back issue, and I have a quite bad back issue. Um, the more I walk, the more it hurts. The doctors at this point, uh, without doing um, rods and screws and cages and pins and everything else, um, I, I there's nothing I can do about it. I have to learn to live with it at this point until I get to that point where I can no longer stand it. So, one of the things that I have noticed is I have not been doing a lot of walking because of the pain. And because I'm not doing a lot of walking, I am losing strength. I'm losing strength in my arms, in my legs. Um, so I have to, do for a certain point, I have to do walking because I'm losing that muscle strength. Let me dry this up and I'll be right back. 
Now I've got quite a lot of paint on here, so it's not drying that quick. I'm taking the next page out of my book and I want to do something. I am going to take some of this paint off that page and put it onto the next one. Um, so one of the things that I learned is I have to, and I don't care if there's paint on the back of these, I really don't. I have to use my muscles. I have to use my legs. Um, I've got to use my arms because if I don't, um, like I said, they're getting weaker and weaker. I'll be right back. All right, so this is pretty well dry. There's still a couple spots here and there, but I want to get out. This is um, a drawer that I picked up from my local hardware store the other day. Not hardware. Um, officeware store that they were going out of business. So I got these drawers for like $1.80 something. Um, but what I want to do, I'm going to have to go back to my stays on because I'm not sure where my Adirondack is. Alright, hold on. I got things in my way over here. I just want to put a little bit of a background on this. So going to use my stays on just throw down some background all right so we were talking about um, use it or lose it so what I found I have to do is if I don't um, do a certain amount of walking during the day and if I don't um, you know stand up for a while during the day or you know um, lay down for a while even that I start to lose a lot of, of muscles and I don't want to do that so it's bad enough I'm dealing with what I have to right now I really don't need to lose more of my ability to stay independent so when you have chronic pain um, you have to look and find tools for your toolbox meaning you know you're hurting, you're hurting a lot, okay? Um, huh, I just put that on the corner of that. That's okay. Why not um, get up and walk around for a little bit? Yeah, does it hurt? Absolutely. Is it going to stop hurting? Probably not. Um, may it hurt a little, more, bit, a little bit more? It might. And you know what? That's okay. Because if you don't do it, the um, you're going to be worse off in the end because you're going to lose muscle mass. And you're going to lose that ability to stay independent. Isn't that neat? That's a um, stamp I carved out of an eraser. I just, oh, why not? Let's use it. Some of the paint's, paint's still wet. That's okay. It's not coming through perfect. That's okay. We're not perfect, right? All right, what else do we have in here? Oh, here's another one. Let's do this one. This is another one that I um, carved out of a, a an eraser piece. Just a little piece. Oops, get back here. No big deal. So you have to look inside yourself. You have to look in your toolbox. You will have to look at your health and see you know, what can I do? What can I do that's going to make me keep the strength to keep the independence? I mean, it might be so much as, you know what, darn it, when I walk around the house, I have to use that cane, right? Do you have no idea how much I can't stand using my cane? I hate it. Um... It makes me feel, I don't want to say old because that's not the word. It makes me feel broken, okay? Um, but I know for a fact when I use it, I can be a little bit more mobile. Meaning if I'm out, um, you know, with my friends and we want to go into a store and if I just get stubborn and say, no, I'm just going to walk it, you know, um, I have to give up a lot quicker because I am not using one of the tools in my toolbox to help myself. Now, how silly is that? 
anybody that has chronic pain, I hear you sitting there right now going, yep, been there, done that, yep, been there, done that. Um, this, write your own story, this was, I believe I got this either out of a Somerset studio or an art journaling um, magazine. Um, it, it is someone else's artwork. I have no idea whose. Again, I cut it out of a magazine. It says California and wine, so I don't know. Um, but I am going to use this on this page because I want it to be the main. The main. So it's write your own story. And again, how you're going to do that, I want to screw these down. How you're going to do that is by using those things, those tools in your toolbox to help you. Um, another one is my TENS unit. I'm just giving you guys examples and ideas. When I start having really bad muscle spasms, my tendency is just to reach for the muscle relaxers and then suck it up. Okay? We can't, I can't do that. Because what happens is I end up in so much pain that it's just not worth it. Right? So that's another tool in the toolbox. Um, I also have um, pain patches, okay? And what the pain patches will do is, um, with both fibromyalgia and in with also with my back injury, I have a lot of what I call touch pain. They call it nerve pain. Um, it's almost like the nerves are right on, right on the tip of top of my skin. So when you touch it, it's very excruciating. And so I have these pain patches that I can use that helps calm that down a little. And I just lost one of my words. Um, again, a lot of times I will just say, ah, I'm just going to suffer. And it, it's just not worth it. It really is not. So this other little piece says, what does life look like? And I've got your body within you and game on. Now when I say game on, what I mean by game on is we need to start looking at this. We need to start listening to our bodies. We need to start using our tools or we're going to lose them. You know, it, we're going to lose more of our own independence. We're going to lose more of our freedom. Um, we're going to lose so much that it's just not, it's not worth it not to use these tools. And it says, write your own story. What does life look like? Okay, what does your life look like right now? You know, I've heard people say, I can't do anything. That's wrong. You're out of bed. You can get to the living room most of the time. You can talk to people on Facebook. You can um, get up and get yourself a drink of water most times. You know, there is so much you can do. You have to look within your body and you have to understand that you have these tools um, that we need to use them. If we don't use our tools, we are going to lose. We're going to lose more independence. We're going to lose more um, of our freedom, more of our ability to be mobile, um, more of missing out on moments and memories. And I, I'll be honest with you, I've lost enough dealing with chronic pain. I don't want to lose anymore. So, I'm not gonna. Alright, this I'm gonna put right here. It just says your body. Now, I do want to do some journaling on the back of this. And like I said, I told you guys in the beginning, I want this year's journey to be um, art, chronic pain, talking, um, journaling, whatever I'd like it to do. So, that's what I'm gonna do. And by the way, this pen, I have to tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mary. This is Mary the Atelier. Um, this is called a Pen Gear Permanent Marker. You can find these in Walmart. They are 44 cents for two of them. And what I love about them is look how easy they write on this acrylic paint. Fabulous! Right? Now it's, now it's going to lie to me. No. Um, they're they're great. They are great for writing on acrylic. 
Uh, they're just, they work so easy. So now what I want to do here is I want to bring this part out in black. And then I'll use the white pen for the rest of it. And you know, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to lecture. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just, I know from my experience that if I don't do these things, that um, my life is going to be so much worse. So, you know, I'm just trying to help anybody that um, needs a little help in the chronic pain area, um, you know, to understand that, you know, the, the power is within us. It's in our hands. We need to stop being so, um, what's the word, stubborn. <laughs> Not me, right? We need to stop being so stubborn and we need to really think about you know what we're doing just just because you know I go to Walmart and I don't want my husband to get my scooter out of my car because then I feel like a you know I don't know in I, I just feel like I'm in the way every time I'm on my scooter I if I don't say it 500 times I'll be shocked I'm sorry I'm sorry and I feel like I'm in other people's way and my husband's like no you're not you have every right and I you know he's right but it's so hard. It's hard to lose that independence. And it's so hard to just, you know, go go for a walk and, and oops. Here I am talking, I'm looking what I'm doing. Um, it's so hard to go for a walk and not think you're getting in somebody else's way. It's just very, very difficult. So and when I mean go for a walk, I mean use my scooter, so all right, this is the front. I love it. All right, I'm going to dry this up real quick. I'm going to go on the back. I'm going to do some journaling. And this is going to go on the back. It's going to be within you. And I will be right back. All right, so I've decided I don't like it just being plain white. So I have to put some kind of color on here. So I'm just going to do it by my fingers. Maybe a little more than that. Let's see. Take a little bit of the green. Ugh. My phone's pinging out in the other room. It's on charge. I don't know why. Lately, my phone has just not been holding the charge at all. I'm not sure what the issue is. I hope it's not getting old because I am not buying a new phone right now. I don't want a new phone. They're getting so they cost so much money, it's ridiculous. But, you know, what can we do? Doo -doo. A lot of paint right there. Oops! Back here, you. Alright, so let me. Where's my baby wipes? one of these. Hmm. And we're just gonna... Yep. That works. Okay, we're gonna dry it up, do our journaling, and then we will be back. Alright, I just gotta show you what I was just doing. I stuck this on here, I just glued that down. And then I got out my uh, Diane Reevely, um journaling block. And um, it's really cool because what's perfect, look at this. This fits this exact page size. How cool is that? <laughs> that made me happy. <laughs> so anyways, now I just want to wanna draw a few lines here. Probably not going to be straight, not going to be perfect, and you know what? It's okay. It doesn't have to be. Why? Because it's my journal. <laughs> and I am far from perfect. So my journals are as well. You're probably like, what are you doing? That is ugly. Yeah, it is right now. But not in a minute. It won't be. 
because I'm going to fill all these lovely lines in. Some are going to be filled in with paint. Some of them are going to be filled in with words. I'm just having fun. Isn't that what this is about? Now, one thing I do want to say about this year for my creative year, we are here to provide inspiration to you. Myself, Gina, Ann, Lisa, and Ian, we just want to inspire you to not only do art, but just to do what makes you feel good. Don't worry about everybody else. Don't worry about, um, you know, oh, they do such a much better job than I do, or, you know, that kind of stuff. That's not what it's all about. Ew, my water's dirty. I gotta clean my water. Um, it's about just having fun, playing with your products, um, and just maybe even learning a little bit about yourself. Why not? You know, how cool is that? Just enjoy it. Enjoy the process. Maybe this is your relief from, you know, working Monday through Friday. If that's the case, fantastic. Take whatever inspiration that we give to you and run with it. Um, you know, maybe you don't want to do this in a journal. Maybe you want to, well, I don't like, you know, I'm not interested in Cindy's video this week or I'm not interested in Gina's. Oh, I really like what Ann did. Okay, take it. Run with it. You know, use the inspiration that we're providing for you. That's what this is all about. It's not about, um, you know, having perfect pages or... Um, I'm going to do it this way, the same way that uh, Gina does it, or I'm going to do it the same way that Ann or Cindy or Ian or Lisa does. That's not what it's about. It's about you, and it's about your inspiration, and we're just here to guide you, to guide you along the way. So take what you want out of it and leave what you want of it, and it's all good. It's all good. I am doing this journal via the Chronic Pain a lot for myself um, as well as just to keep this topic open because, like I said, there are so many people out there that, um, you know, live with this crap daily. And some people don't have the support system that I do. And, you know, I feel really bad about that. I wish I could just go and be their support, but it doesn't happen that way. So, um, you know, take what you can from it and... You know, and if you don't want to hear me talk about chronic pain, um, just turn off the volume. If you want to see what I do art-wise and you just don't want to hear me talk, turn off the volume. Very simple. All right, so again, I'm just here to help people. These are all my experiences. This is what I have found out, and this is what made has made me a much more opti optimistic person when it comes to chronic pain. So, I'm going to dry this up, and I know I say so too much, don't I? <laughs> That's all right. Um, I'm going to dry this up, make a mess on my notebook over there, move this out of the way, dry it up, and then I'm going to do some journaling. We'll be back. All right, so I did my journaling. Um, now, I'm going to use the stays on again because, like I said, I have these little stamps my mom had found in a yard sale for me. She found actually a great big box of, of stamps, and this was one of them, one of the sets that was in there. I think this is Stampin' Up. Yeah, mini medleys. So, I don't think they're all here, but that's all right. Um, I have this little bitty circle. Now, I did one of these in a, um, an eraser, but mine's a lot bigger, so I'm going to use this little one. And now basically what I've journaled about is the fact that I do have a scooter, I do have a cane, um, and I need to use these. I need to use them um, to have the mobility, have the ability to have the mobility. Say that three times fast. <laughs> have the ability to have the mobility <laughs> to be able to um, go and do. And that's basically what it says on this. So isn't this neat? This kind of looks like um, like a body form. I didn't even notice it until I came back and I was looking. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So that's pretty much what it says. Um, you know, if you really want to know, I guess you can stop the recording and read it. Um, but it's just me telling myself that, you know, right now I have the ability to use my scooter and my cane. 
and to heck with what anybody else thinks. I should just um, use them. Don't worry about, you know, the dirty looks. Just like my handicap sticker for my van. You know, I pull into a handicap spot and people look at me like I'm nuts. But, you know, sorry. I can't walk a parking lot. If I walk a parking lot, I'm not going to be able to walk the store. So, you know, the handicap is just, I have to use it. So, all right. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this week's Use It or Lose It with Cindy, Ann, and Gina. Or Gina, Ann, and Cindy, however you want to do it. I love this. I like it. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to put this in my book. Oops, sorry, open. And there we go. We have a Use It or Lose It page. And this is our main page. And again, this we're going to be getting into later on this little folder here, but... Actually, I'm going to put this in front of my folder. I'm so excited. Oops. There's... Oops, oops. Must be my... Glue didn't work on that. You know what it could be? I was um, drying the back a whole lot, so it's probably just dried out the glue. All right. Let's put this in here. Ta-da! Actually, you know, we have to do this. I don't like that. See, I'm, I'm, this is mm, new to me, so I'm learning. I want this black. I don't like it not black. Oops, there we go. Wrote on it. That's all right. Oops, wrote on it again. That's all right. All just gives it, oops, wrote on it again. Gives it character. See, I'm not perfect. I don't ever claim to be. I don't ever want to be. I think life is better when you have little oopses in them. All right. Now we're going to put it here. So here's our main page. Woohoo! What I want to do for the year, my intentions. This is a folder we're going to get to in a bit. This is week one, or week two, I should say, because week one was our mascot. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And, um, you know, I hope it helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below. I'll be glad to answer them. Um, not a problem. And just think about it. Think about, you know, what you have the ability to do today and what you can do to use the tools that you have available to you. All right? And, as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll see you next week. Bye!